LLC, you gotta put the LLC on it. It's what your boo bays, that's us, are gonna be covering tonight. Yep, Joshua and Caitlin. That's right. Ooh, I liked that. That's us. That and flows. we are covering, yes, as we just said, Hell House LLC. 2015. 2015. Uh, documentary style, found footage type of film. Mm-hmm. Um, slash, you know, paranormal. Yes, um, definitely. I would throw that in there as well. Definitely paranormal mm-hmm. as well. At the heart of it. I am about to sneeze. So, All right. Talking about that LLC. Yeah. Um, a slightly more well-received film. Uh, how, how, yeah, than the one we covered l- last time. Yes. Uh, than 6.4 Hellfest. <laughs> out of 10 on IMDb. A 75% on Rotten Tomato. Hmm. Originally, it was like an 83 or something mm. when it first came out. Yeah. And then 84% of Google users liked this movie. So I can see that. I saw it had like a four point something stars on wherever I watched it. I don't even know. Amazon? I'm not even sure. Uh, I watched it on Amazon Prime. Yeah, Apparently, that's where I watched it. Yes. I think at least the second one is a Shutter exclusive, oh. possibly. And also, um, I guess there's different versions. I hope we watch the same version. There's like an unedited one and then like a. Oh, I just watched whatever the fuck was on Amazon Prime. Pretty sure it was the regular one. Um, oh. but what did you watch? No. Also, well, the thing is, too, for our viewers, if some people want to watch and maybe don't have, like, don't want to pay for anything, I found it on YouTube, literally, oh, on Popcorn Flicks, movie. and the whole movie is on here. Oh, wow. Like, it has some ads in there, but literally, the whole movie. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a great place I was to able go to go back that. today and, like, go over, like, because I watched it on, my, yeah, it's only to do today. I watched it yesterday, but, like, earlier in the day, mm-hmm. and so today I was able to go back and be like, oh, yeah, this part, and that part, and that part, and this part. Anyways, nice. Yeah. That is that's cool. Yeah, I watched mm-hmm. it. I watched it this morning, which is on brand for me to do so. Like, imagine if we had a screen here and we were filming this, we could be like, and this part, and it's and that part. we don't have to deal with copyright issues because popcorn flicks is already Literally. dumb shit for us. I mean, it's fifth free to the world. It's yeah, free to us. I was I, I was really surprised when I found that on there, and I was like scramming. Like, I actually like for the first like twenty minutes, I was like, because I'm thinking like, okay, like it's gonna like chop some parts out, or mm-hmm. it's gonna like be glitchy, or they're gonna reverse. It was literally the exact it same the film. Same <laughs> wow, that's nice. <laughs> the exact same film. That is nice. Um, this film was directed by Stephen Cognetti. Cognetti, what a name! I know. Cognitive. It Cognetti. sounds like some sort of pasta. Yeah, it does. It's netty. giving me pasta. I think it's the netty part. Mm-hmm. Um, like ends with the I. Spaghetti. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> produced by FBI Films. And uh, yeah, it follows a, d- it's a documentary mm-hmm. that is following a group of haunted house creators, a.k.a. Hell House LLC. Yeah. It's a traveling house. Mm-hmm. They've been doing it since 2002, I believe is what they said in there. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And they've, uh, all around New York. And so each year they create yep. a whole different Hell House, mm-hmm. depending on where it is. Like they mentioned Queens at one point. That's right. Some other We things. don't mention Queens. Yeah, if we don't mention Queens. Yeah. That's what they said. I yes. don't know what the fuck happened in Queens, Some but it, it can't be worse than this. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe that's what happened at Hellfest. Yeah. And then we don't talk about that uh, anymore. Yeah, maybe. This came out first, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> the way that could have been a prequel. Yeah. Uh. But there are there actually there um, is actual s- uh, sequels to mm-hmm. this, yes, which yes. I believe are on. Like I said, I think it's a Shutter mm-hmm. exclusive. Yeah, um, I actually started delving into like a little bit of like looking into the sequels, and it just dives even more into like the owner, the not, original, the original yeah. of the house. Yeah, yeah, it gives you kind of the backstory After, because yeah, mm-hmm. the a sequel Hell House LLC to the Ab- Abaddon Hotel. And so that was released exclusively on Shutter on September twentieth, mm. two thousand eight. Shout out to Shutter. And so that was yeah, and that was all, it, like all, mm-hmm. it was just all the just history. The his, yeah, yeah, giving you the backstory on like why all that was happening there. Yeah, because we yeah. got little like bites of mm-hmm. it here and there from the very almost harsh cut. Mm-hmm. that were made because well, it was a documentary literally in process. Yeah, very much like. Um, 
autopsy of no, oh, not the no. autopsy of Jane like, Doe. What? Uh, but, but exorcism. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> Which one? The oh, one shit. with the old lady in the snake mouth. Oh yeah, yeah, Deborah. Deborah Logan. Miss Deborah the Logan. taking of Deborah Logan. Miss Debbie. I was like, damn Miss it! Debbie. I suggested that film too. <laughs> I love Debbie. Um, this Many is moons one ago, so it's that all right. I really did enjoy the yeah. first time I saw it. Was this um, the first time you'd seen this it? This is the first time I've ever seen it. Okay, I've heard about it. Um, but yeah, I. I thought it was interesting I enough, and there's some was, parts that really freaked yeah, me the yeah, fuck yeah. out. Like that clown, hard oh. pass, hard fucking pass. You know, that thing there were some around. parts for me exactly that um, with all that little clown that wasn't supposed to be moving, but was like ending up all over the plaza, place, mm-hmm. place, plaza. Um, plaza. And uh, no, that was pretty. Sc- it, that was pretty scary. There was the one part that really got me too. Where I mean, I guess we'll get to it. But like with, Paul, I mean, poor Paul. Paul's Paul had all these in his disappearance. That one actually had and me like hiding behind first, my pillow. And even the first time, whenever <laughs> the, um, we first get the interaction with him at night there, and you see like it's red, and you see the and he's the like just person walking, you sleep walking. And mm-hmm. like, that was like really creepy. That yeah. was. I don't that, like that when scared you, me. I don't like because, when you can't see the face. Yeah, it makes yeah. it scarier. But the face even, that they had on that girl at his disappearance oh, was, that was scary creepy. because and, it was realistic and it also had me even finding myself like last night like mm-hmm. and even when i was outside like looking over my shoulder mm-hmm. like because yeah i purposefully mm-hmm. did not turn it on last night i was on uh-huh. the phone with andrew until i basically passed out but like i was like yeah, yeah. i don't want to no, i wouldn't want to i mean of course i still woke up at 6 a.m and, and so it's dark it. and watched it but, but that's different because yeah. daylight comes, you go about your day. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like it's into the night. Yeah, exactly. I watched it like Good I said. Good thing we're talking about this yesterday, to go to sleep. Was, later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, <laughs> I might not be sleeping. We'll see. Oh, um, yeah, you got a big day. Yeah. So let's see. Um, I guess we'll get into the movie um, mm-hmm. because it starts with them opening up with. Um, it gets right so, into yeah, it. Yeah, basically talking about how it's a documentary and something happened on... Yeah, it uh, says, doc- what you're about to see is basically based on true events covering the 2009 Haunted House incident mm-hmm. in Abaddon, New York. And then, hence, the name of the Abaddon Hotel. It's named after the town. Yes. Um, so it's a little bit upstate New York, I believe. It's 40 minutes away. I remember him saying that. Oh, yes, Alex. yeah, 40 minutes into the city. It was not mm-hmm. actually... Filmed in New York. It was filmed in like a Where was it? Pennsylvania. Yes. Six Flags. The Abaddon Hotel does not exist in real life, <laughs> <laughs> but was filmed at the Waldorf Hotel in Layton, Pennsylvania. What the Layton. fuck name is that? Lay? Is it a, just a very Let weird form it? of Layton? Why they put the I there? I don't like that. I think someone misspelled that. Okay. Uh, yeah, because that's got to be late. Late in Pennsylvania. Like a hit on. Like a hit on. Otherwise, that's what it is. And Le- I don't think <laughs> Pennsylvania, <laughs> run by Angie M- Moyer or Moyer, who, is served, who served as the film set designer. Mm. There are a lot of things in the house that I was wow. like, oh, that's yeah. cute. And then uh, I was yeah, like, I think I got thing. one of those over there. That <laughs> totally, all the spooky spook. Yeah, that was the other reason. It was like, Kutramaz. I literally collect clowns and of course none of them are that menacing but i did and just also life get size. a new that's doll life size that's life size who that's is, different yeah that's true this doll i got it was from a one of my employees her mm-hmm. it was from her like grandparents house she literally drove it up to waco oh. in a trash bag because she was like i can't i, I can't have this. dolls that i need to give you oh yeah give them oh, to me wow. i'll give them a home and i don't know why i didn't think about it it was now. really amazing though because like this doll set in the bag for a little bit because I just couldn't. I was so busy. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I unbox it. It's literally Show the me. same I'm doll waiting. as Annabelle. In anticipation. <gasps> but oh, she's but like clothes. more complete. And look at but the then eyes. Also, yes. <gasps> That's my favorite part. She like literally looks worse, but that then looks, also looks. Look at the mouth. She has all of her. <laughs> yes. She has all of her um, limbs, unlike Annabelle. <laughs> and then she's clothed. That is so cute. Annabelle's though, actually. like little Annabelle is just knees freaky as fuck. And I'm her sorry. Her cheeks Caitlin. are more well. Yes, I know. I know. She's when creepy. I put when I put her up, Andrew goes, "We have to have two of those looking at us now." And I was like, "Well, yes. at least Annabelle's eyes. I'll give her to her are normal looking. This uh, this new girl." <laughs> yeah. I literally sat down. Andrew must have thought I was so One crazy because her eyes I s- are literally rolled up in her head. Yeah, and the other one just is white. I sat down in front of Annabelle and I said, "Hi." If this upsets you, let me know. Oh. But I think, would you be okay sharing your chair? Is what oh, I asked yeah. her. And so you I was like, sure. I'm going to 
I'm going to put her here if something, like, if you don't like it, just let me know. But Not in a menacing way. Yes. And I was so like, nice. but I think she could be a really good friend to you. She's very similar to you. So, you know, just yeah. be nice. Just put some coffee grounds in front of her and she'll spell it out. <laughs> Fuck you. I hate this bitch. Literally. <laughs> no, but uh, so far so good. She's been, they've been sharing a chair now for a few days and they can both look at me. <gasps> Cute. So that's fun. No, I have a couple dolls, but someone gave them to me. But yet like. They're all haunted. Well, no, I just feel like. It, w- it was a friend, and sh- she's cool, but, like, I meant, like, you know, like, someone gives you something, you kind of feel like, well, I can't give that away. But, like, honestly, I feel like they would serve you better. Mm. Do you know what I mean kind of situation? I, I mean, Because I literally, they're in the back of my closet. Sorry. They're in the back of my closet. <laughs> like, because they're creepy. I will give them a good home. Yes. That was, like, they need to be in a home where they can be, like, with their friends. Yeah, literally what other person and, like, would somebody send this picture to, and they respond, Yes, oh my God, because yeah. she sent me the picture. And I was like, I, uh, she was like, would you be interested? And I was like, oh, yes. immediately, I see you. And then, that. okay, so the way she was in the bag, she was in a trash bag. When I opened it, her head was like twisted <laughs> Tilted up. up to the opening. And I was like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh my God. I literally was like, I would have no. screamed. <laughs> Andrew was like, what? And I was like, just come look at this view. Come look at this view. Wait, wait, wait. But like, do you have a name to her, have you? Or are you just mm-hmm. letting her pick a name? Yeah, I don't know. She's going to tell yet. you her name. Yeah, dream. like Beatrice She's going to come dream. whisper it to your I've ear. had another doll tell me her name in a dream. Y'all, I'm weird. Okay, anyways, the <laughs> Abaddon Hotel Abaddon is very... Hotel. I could furnish the Abaddon Hotel. Yes, you could. <laughs> Slash and my could house could your house. easily become a haunted mm-hmm. house if it was bigger. It could be. Um, um, depending <laughs> yes. on the bright lighting and with the proper strobes and um, all also, of us in yes, there Also, yes, strobe warning people. to this movie as oh, well. Oh, very important. Yes. Even worse than This is Hellfest. Hellfest. Like, 2.0. There was a lot of strobes. Steroids. There's a lot. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I give it to them. Going into it, I mean, it's a haunted house. Yeah. So. But, yes, just be forewarned if you have uh, photosensitivity that it could set trigger mm-hmm. you because it's there's a lot of strobes especially during one middle scene um yes. you know yeah because that's all it's really focusing on like because it's, it's in the strobe something's moving and it's and the, you're having to really pay attention so mm-hmm. yeah yes nope. and it's the fact that it is a found footage film i feel like makes the quality of the strobe more realistic mm. yeah because it's, it's like right in your like, face and yes. it's not saturated by anything else yeah no it's effect. not it's like softened by any sort of mm-hmm. anything it's yeah. just like this is a motherfucking Light strobe in the camera <laughs> in your eyeballs mm-hmm. um yeah but so basically we're going off we we kind of see these two people uh, trying to get into this house mm-hmm. but we haven't really established really like who they are who they what's are. going on but obviously you can already tell from the get-go it's the doc- like these are like the, the documentary yeah. people yeah yeah mm-hmm. and then give me very deborah logan at the beginning when they're like yes, around the house yeah you know? looking yeah. in yeah it yeah. did give me those vibes right? a lot uh-huh. um and then yeah so then it kind of flashes to witness accounts saying they have no clue what happened mm-hmm. that one girl is not a good actress <laughs> <laughs> you want me to tell you what happened <laughs> I don't know I don't what happened. Know. I was like, okay. I, okay. La- I, I laughed so hard at but that then delivery. I was like, maybe is she a good actress though? Just trying to be a bad actress. Oh my because God. It was so bad. Yeah, that like, makes sense. Maybe. If somebody was but, asking me my, well, I don't think I would. She was like smiling. Oh, shit. Tornado watch means one's touchdown. Uh, no. Tornado warning means something is actually touchdown. Tornado okay. watch means that it could. Touchdown. Okay. I always get them confused. And so yeah. when it tells me, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> and we're right in the area where the last one hit about 60 something, 60 odd years ago. Yeah, biggin. Mm. A biggin. Um, but yes, I guess I'm, we're safe here, to be honest. I know, this feels safe. Yeah, yeah. we're pretty surrounded. <laughs> All right. This Anyways. Is the area. Um, <laughs> if y'all hear yes. like loud roaring in the background, you guys. I can hear the I, rain. Yeah, that's what I was hearing through, through these. That's yeah. why I was like, "What is that?" They say it sounds like a train when it's coming. Y'all, we are in a soundproof room. We have headphones on, and we can still hear the rain, the rain. outside. Yeah. That's, that's insane. Funny. Um. Anyways, October eighth, two thousand nine, <laughs> is when Hell House opened its doors in Abaddon, New York. Yep. Um. Basically, we're getting to see 
this YouTube recovered yeah. YouTube video footage of like an opening night. It's following some friends. They're going. Mm-hmm. They're really excited to go in. And when they finally get in, um, basically they're not even in for like a good minute. Yeah, like and I it's mean, also, it's like right in there. And it's and it's pretty. Um, to give y'all reference too, I mean, this is all happening. Like we're going deep. This is happening like five minutes into the movie, so we're mm-hmm. already getting like you know. Oh yeah, they like hit you with, right off the bat. Yeah, um, it has a very. Like it all happens fast with a great build. Yeah, I think the, the nothing. The ending feels rushed to me. So yeah, so we're we're really only five minutes or so into the, the film. The movie, and we're getting this chunk of like uh, getting to see what happened that night, but yet not really. Um, yeah, but basically, you're getting a taste again, a little bite. They're this friend group that goes in, and then all of a sudden chaos ensues as they're getting to the basement of where is this haunted house, and then people are literally just rushing out and running past them, screaming. And yeah. at a certain point, even before that, there were people running past them. It, there were, were actors, actors running past yes, them. Who, the clown runs. Mm-hmm. One of the clowns runs away, and they're like. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Yeah, and then, and then Sarah, we see Sarah run past them. But you don't know it's Sarah yet. Until later at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot because I was like, back. even though I've seen this a few times, I think this is probably my third time seeing yeah. it. I was like, who the fuck was that that ran past? And I was like, why the hell do they know where to go? And then, um, then I was like, at the end, I was like, oh, right, that is Sarah. And then like, I kind of forgot the ending, maybe because, again, it does feel a little rushed. It's very like, Bam. Yeah. No, <laughs> and, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. So it does really like at the end kind of very much just climax. And it's the way it like because it does it like climax. It reminds me of climax Blair because footage. there's like two or Blair footage. Because there's <laughs> Yeah. Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Because there's kind of two endings uh-huh. in a way. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And so it, it kind of reminded me of, of that. Um, um, but yeah, but people yeah. running away. They're trying to get downstairs into the basement. And then the girl is like, I, I, we can't get down there. Yeah. Like no one's moving. And then all of a sudden, yeah, then they all start like trying to. Push, push up out the stairs. They're like, let us get out. Yeah. And there's too many. Which is crazy. People are freaking the fuck out. Yeah. And then they're freaking out and they're trying to run out. And it's the way that it takes them a bit to get out. Because there's like, you know, it's obviously like a well, maze yeah, and there's a haunted house. It's a house. literal maze. And so they're and it's dark, trying to get out. Yeah. Disorienting with the strobe lights. Exits aren't even really exits. Mm-mm. Yeah. And it is, it's, for those of you who get motion sick, this is a hella chaotic scene. Yeah. As they are escaping, you are you. Li- we literally tri- trip. Yeah, yeah. With them, for sure. and we're like mm-hmm. on the ground with them. So you're you're getting. Yeah, I mean, over. if you do get motion sickness, no shame, because me too. And so it was a little bit of like my head was like a little at some points, but it's all right. I managed to get through it. But um, good little good little. Uh, let y'all know about that but mm-hmm. yeah it is you're in the chaos of it everybody gets outside and finally you get outside with this group of people and then it's the way that even out there you start hearing the ambulances coming you start seeing like the commotion of all the like fire whatever yeah, fire and ambulance engines. people um first and responders coming in find out that someone had called 911 yeah someone. and there was a recovered 911 tape yes um, that they play that doesn't elude or give any kind of yeah, it doesn't help it was very uh, it was obviously very panicked. Yeah. Um, and what she's a like, lot of people are like in, in, in tense a situations. State like that, yeah. you're like very, he's like shock. Um, and the fact that this is quite literally paranormal and stuff, yes. like it's. Because she's how saying you, something like, uh, so, you someone know, someone was how pulled into the wall. the wall. And like they're trying to make sense of like what he's saying. And then it's the way that it gets distorted, obviously, like mm-hmm. all paranormal stuff does to technology, um, the effect. And then like it cuts out. So you don't really get much from it. But yeah. obviously, I mean, you hear the panic in her voice. Yeah, like she sounds terrified. Yeah. Um, and yeah, even my notes are like, someone was pulled in the wall, question mark. Like, I don't really know what yeah, happened. Yeah, I, I didn't get what that meant. But okay, from I that, think maybe um, from later on when we see, it's not necessarily, maybe not the wall. Maybe they're talking just about like, what's her face being yeah, checked. And she was M- uh, Melissa or something. Yeah, the know. actress. I forget I don't her remember name. her name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so then come to find out, literally gag orders were put on everything Mm -hmm. they wouldn't even really talk to the victims families like they were not even giving any kind of like this was what happened like they were just like they're dead they're dead okay we're not gonna talk about about this yep Mm -hmm. sorry yeah bye bye we don't talk about queens we don't talk about we don't talk about (laughs) avatar For real. Poor people. Poor families that, that like, they're just like, we, big, we don't, we talk, don't talk about, about Abaddon. Abaddon. Yeah. That'd be really cute. We, we can put that in our little notes on our merch. We've got so many shirt ideas, y'all, that we'll never we make We don't talk you. about Abaddon. We've got a deputy daddy shirt that's, yeah. like, on a little deputy True. badge, a sheriff's badge. That would be so cute. That would be really cute. I don't know. All the boobies kind of things we could do Yeah, with, with the boobies and, the and, like, and kind of one punch man with the little under boob things. Yeah. With the little ice cream man, too. Um... You'll never uh, get them. 
unless y'all you just, make us yeah, famous. Literally. <laughs> and if y'all just like, just let us know if you want it at that, at that too. I'd wear it. Um, so would I. They sound cute. We'd be buying our own merch. We would. I totally would. The Abaddon. We don't talk about Abaddon. We don't talk about Abaddon. People are going to be like, what's Abaddon? And we're like, we don't talk about it. We don't <laughs> fucking talk about it. Can't you read the goddamn shirt? <laughs> Literally. Um, and so, yeah, we have all that footage <laughs> happening. The people are all freaked out. We had the 911 call. And um, then what? What are we, we doing? We find that it kind of cuts back to where oh, yeah. they're interviewing like a I believe it's three people. One is the girl who mm-hmm. is who we could see from the YouTube tour goers video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who she is. It mm-hmm. took me a hot second to like put it girl, together. Chick, yeah. She looks different, does she, she not? Looks she remarkably looks remarkably different. A lot different. <laughs> so I was like, hey, I'm pretty sure this is the same girl, but I'm also not. <laughs> yeah, but it was the her playing the same character yeah. if it's not. Yes. She just had a lot more makeup on or something. Or, I don't know. It's been she five did, years. That, it's the way that it did throw me for a little bit because I was like, wait, is that the same girl? But it is. It is. And it, yeah. yeah, I guess maybe they're playing to age. Like yeah. maybe they dressed her up more maternally because mm-hmm. she did look a little did, bit more mommy. Yeah, on uh, whenever she was coming back for that interview. Yeah, um, we are also interviewing a writer or author, I believe, <clears throat> someone who c- was trying to cover the original incident, mm-hmm. and then a photographer. Yes. And this photographer it was covered and interviewed mainly because he breaks in, and mm-hmm. we get a little bit more of an idea of what happened. Yeah. With his pictures that he provides from the house, so we see a bunch of blood mm-hmm. everywhere. A bunch of- Bad juju. Yeah, just it, the very Bad eerie vibes. photos. Mm-hmm. Things that are very unsettling. Yeah, because and then that later on, clearly shows, something bad happened. Like bloody handprints on the walls yeah, and in like the basement the and getting dragged, dragged away. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, dragging to hell. And like literally. when you're dragging a dead body, like the streak, the a, strips. That's or right. Yeah, streak. yeah, the streaks of the was, blood. What is the word? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you can really, it obviously something bad happened. Um, and he's talking a little bit more about it. And he was saying, like, even when he got to the basement door, he said the basement door was blown off the hinges. And basically, he was not about to go down there. And yeah. he just, he pokes his little camera around and just goes, tick, tick, tick. Click, click. <laughs> and probably bolted out of the house. Yeah. I just see I even would. go in there. Alone. Oh, that's scary. That is so Knowing scary. Knowing 15 people and died there, it's got to be. And, and the original owner. And to be himself. And to be in there, like, just taking pictures, like, oh, that's, like, uh, I'm, t- mm, Again, I'm getting scared by now. yourself. Yeah, <laughs> the guts, literally the. Oh my gosh! But, yeah, um, yeah. So he does that, and it's the way that he's like, you know, all the, what they were told is like, you know, it was some sort of freak accident, some mm-hmm. gas leak or something. Yeah, a gas leak they is kind of what they said. Yeah, to cover blanket, cover it but up. But gas leaks he, don't cause yeah, you to bleed and then be things. dragged yeah. away. And so he was like, obviously there were things that were not being told, uh-huh. you know, and so they're all still trying to get to the bottom of it. And then finally we have... And that's why this documentary is mm-hmm. even happening. happening Diane yeah. Graves is our documentarian. We are also following her crew that is Mitchell and Jonathan, mm-hmm. I believe. And yes. we are... They're trying to get to the bottom of what happened. And again, I believe this is five years later. Mm-hmm. It is five years after um, what had happened. So that was 2009, right? So this mm-hmm. would be 2014. Yes. And so, so right yeah. before it came, the movie came mm-hmm. out. Yeah, they're kind of going in order with the years. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, but then we flash to Sarah Havel, or Havel, I believe Havel. is her last name. Mm-hmm. She was a member of the Hell House LLC. The crew. And she had agreed to meet with the document. Terry and Diane Graves. For but an it's interview. the way that nobody has seen her since this incident. Yes, yeah. And she looks pretty fucked up. Like, she just looks mentally. Yeah, in a, like, kind mentally. of, like, unstable way. Yeah, like, very skittish. Sh- yeah, she's been doing something. And dead eyes. Mm-hmm. Her eyes look dead. So she seemed, like, almost as if she was in a daze. Yeah. Like, for a lot of the questions, it that. was, um, she like, She seemed like she was what? half asleep. Half, like, yeah. the whole time, like, like, she was being controlled by something else. Mm. Mm. It. Something Spoiler like alert. That. <laughs> Something like that. Um, but yeah. But she says basically that the gag order was a smart thing because what happened is too hard to process. People wouldn't be able to handle the truth. And then she fucking sets down a bag of tapes. Literally, for them the way to she watch. just like plops it up. I expected like a, a head to be in there the way it like was I just know. like. It was yes. like a. A plop. It was a, like and a little like, sad. And how like, she held it, held it like that. Held it. Yeah, she so held you guys, you know, it. Right out in front of talk. my face. And so, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was crazy. And then it's the way that they are like, she's like, everything you need to know is on here. And then they're like, have you seen these videos? And she's, she's like, like, no. no. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, then, bitch, how do you know? <laughs> Literally, but I don't even know what any of that is. I guess. Because she knows that right. Paul was filming the whole mm-hmm. time, and that they had cameras set up. But it's like 
and yes, and then she says, "Well, I got to them before they did because yeah. they asked she's the like, police." Why didn't you turn this. them to the cops? Yeah, and then she basically, I mean, oh, yeah, I guess no, it makes I, sense yeah, with the yeah. gag order happening. Like you want it, so at this point, like I feel like it's still very. She said that she had been staying with family and yeah. stuff. So like her, there's still like it's, I would go underground after yeah, something like maybe, this and yeah, really watching traumatizing my partner. Hang him, die, hang himself, yeah. yeah, and then Hello. literally all my friends die, die, <laughs> like yeah. everybody. I would again just want to be dead myself, which, well, she is, so uh, that's good. No. Um, but yeah, so she just has the tapes, and then Jonathan comes by, or Mitchell does. I don't know. Mitchell comes by, and he's like, "Shoop, yes. I'm gonna go watch he these." Because he's gonna watch them. <laughs> Mitchell's the one that watches them. And then so basically, we're I guess seeing through almost Mitchell's eyes. We're watching these films with him yes which is basically the footage of what um paul was taking who was a crew member of the hell house llc mm-hmm. gang and he's basically documenting uh you know the month prior yeah, everything 46 up days to opening night yeah. august 23rd through october 8th basically the, the, behind the, time. the behind the scenes of them getting the whole haunted house together yeah because mm-hmm. they can post it on their website mm-hmm. and stuff get people excited for the house things that, like that um alex said at one point that they go back and watch it to see what they can do better, improve upon, slash what did work really well, yeah. like what scared people. Yeah. It, I mean, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. And it, I mean, like always, we have to have a reason why all this is being filmed. Yes. And this was some, sometimes the reason is not great. Yeah. This one this was a actually, perfect, yeah, pretty, perfect setup. Yeah. Really? It it's sense. like, yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. I all believe this. Reason, okay, yeah. <laughs> this is not like we're just like, oh yeah, this happened, whatever, baloney. Yeah. yeah. It's like, no, that makes perfect sense. It's a good sense. setup, yeah. And so because, we're, oh, sorry. No, you go for it. Because oh. then we're getting introduced to. Yeah, we're um, kind of seeing everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't grasp their names until a little bit later, later have, aside from Sarah yeah, well, and Paul talking. Paul, Sarah, Alex, Mac, uh, Mac and Tony. Tony, mm-hmm. yes. And I like Tony. Yeah, I did too. Mm, poor yeah. guy. My, one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie is him just in that grass field. Mm-hmm. And then poor I guy. also I have so many questions about that scene. Me too. What the fuck Me are they talking too. about? I don't know. I was like, and we never get told. I what wonder it is. if it's and Alex it's knew the Alex actual history of what had happened there. But then I don't know if that's because then why is it like he's like we have to say and like why would you have yeah, to say? Yeah, like why haven't you told yeah. Sarah? Like I yeah. don't know. I had, see, I was getting more like, or if he knew what happened to Paul. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No. Or if I don't know. To don't be honest, know. what I was getting so many was questions. Like also too, like maybe even like. Because it is, like, Paul's company, but yet they all work for him. Like, he, like, basically, like, put all of their investment into this. Basically, oh, so they like, can't broke, leave. Bankrupt them. Basically, they have to make all their money back or else they're screwed. That makes sense. That's what I was thinking. That would make perfect sense. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Because that's, a, the, that's, good. that's so. what I, the vibes I got from it. Yeah. They yeah. did seem very desperate in yeah. the moment. Especially Alex. Alex was all about, like, we need this to work. We need the money. We mm-hmm. need this to, like, what do you, you know? And that's why I'm like, ah, he was and very desperate. And he was desperate. very ready to let Tony go. He was yeah. like, bye. Okay. Leave. He was I mean, ready I think regardless he, of anybody. He was like, this is going to happen whether or not. Yeah. But And yeah. also, I think probably they all of these people have such a strong bond yeah, that I definitely. imagine. They've been working together for years. His, like, Tony reacting in such a way, I imagine, has probably never reacted quite as strongly as this because yeah. this was a very intense situation. But I believe that he probably was like, he'll calm down, he'll come back around. Well, even because he said, and even not that, whether or not. They have a strong bond itself, him and Mac, apparently, because he was They've like... They've been best friends since they were yeah, children. exactly. And he was like, well, if you're staying, then I'm staying. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Tony and Paul were the first hires. Yeah. And then obviously Sarah's Alex's partner, and she's been doing this for a long time with him as yeah. well. Um, but yeah, so we get to the house. Ba- uh, the stuff that happens in the car is kind mm-hmm. of irrelevant. You can tell that there's some tension, but they get there. And the first thing that we get to see is that creepy piano. <laughs> yeah. And Sarah's like playing a little ditty on it um, yes. and that piano comes up a lot throughout the movie it does mm-hmm. and they're yeah. basically looking around they're and looking at everything and basically i mean everyone but uh, like tony and mac they're all like well this is a shithole like this it's is like, like it's how are we supposed to get this working and alex is the one that's like no don't you see like he's like this is basically have to work done for us you yeah know? which it's true the props and stuff it already was very creepy looking yeah. but yes it, the 
<laughs> basically Tony was like, you said that this was abandoned, or maybe it was Paul. He said, he you said, said this ab- was abandoned, not condemned. Yeah, and because it's going to take a lot of work just to even go, like, what it, it took them a week to get the electricity going. Yeah, and and Tony was like, bit, this is going to take me a long time. Yeah. And they were like, you can do it. And it's the way that it's like <laughs> only 46 days till, you know, opening mm-hmm. day. So he's like trying to figure out, how am I going to do this in such a short amount of time? Exactly. Yeah. And But Tony does it. He mm-hmm. gets that electricity up. Um, there is Paul. Yeah, he's recording everything. So we don't see his face a lot until a little bit later yeah. on. Um, but they're basically, then we're following through. It doesn't quite, maybe it does tell us like what day we're at by that point. But Yeah, because it, it's really little. It has little subtitles that it ever so often come up. Mm-hmm. And it's not like very, like, like basically it's not a like large five, jump of time. Yeah, because it's not like 5, 10, 15, 20. It's like, Seven days, three days, Mm -hmm. 20 days left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not Mm -hmm. a consistent Mm -hmm. chunk of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And basically the place is wrecked. There's some weird radio interference that's happening on the walkies, which is already a bad sign. Oh, already, yes. Whenever they're trying to talk to each other. Yeah. (laughs) One of, they're in the attic. They're exploring. And so a group of them are in the attic. It's Paul and I think Tony Tony. who are up there. And Mac and Alex and Sarah are in the basement. And there's this weird radio interference that's happening, and they you, like can't tell what's going on. It sounds kind of like, is there a screaming in that? It sounded like a screaming. Yeah, 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 like a sort of wailing. Imagine like what, th- like a sound of hell. Yeah, the sounds Literally, of hell. People the wailing. Hell. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so then they're like, okay, well, fuck it, we'll just go down there and see yeah. them in the basement. And we get to the basement and. Well, it's creepy as fuck. It's pretty creepy already because already we have a whole like pentagram or whatever you call mm-hmm. it on the on the wall, and we have um, Bibles on the floor. Yeah, all they were like, "What are all these books?" And they were yeah. like, "That's a Bible." And they were like, "That's a good sign." And then they're like, they're "All, all of them are Bibles." Yeah, and it's why like Alex is like, "Well, it's a hotel. There they are always been Bibles." All the drawers. Like, but yeah, but like, okay, like Sarah, Sarah made says. a good point. It was like, "Well, who put them all down here?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's asking the right questions, and yeah. she's being like, "This is creepy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, this seems off." Yeah. She Alex like, is basically oh. gaslighting everybody this whole film because he's basically they're all like this is wrong this is crazy this is supernatural and he's like no mm, no and some you're you're just don't scared. talk about this Shh, you're like, just scared yeah, yeah hush hush yeah a lot of it he, um, and he wasn't telling them the history for no. sure he oh, wasn't I'll, doing yeah, that from the get go yeah as because we find out whenever the actress comes and then at that point but well, even before that we there was something that happened I think that makes us know that but. Mm-hmm. Um, well, because, yeah, one, we already know because the beacon documentary people are telling all this shit. Yes, yeah. yeah. Kind of we ways. haven't found out quite yet that uh, the old, former owner, had hung Andrew himself. Tully, had mm-hmm. hung himself. But we will find that out in a little yeah. bit. Um, but, yeah, so then it basically cuts to them sitting at the bar because there was, it was a mm-hmm. hotel. There was a bar. And this is where they're talking about, like, we don't talk about queens. Mm-hmm. I guess they're having a very friendly moment. Yeah, reminiscing, talking about the Lucifer that they had in Queens oh, that's right. had a very yeah. like <laughs> the accent. The accent was I, I can't do. do a Queens accent yeah. for you, but it was very much like welcome to the gates of hell, but like with Queens. With, yeah, with that Queens, <laughs> queens accent. accent. And so that's a um, that that was, was pretty, pretty funny. funny. Yeah, yeah, and we kind of figure out a little bit more that they're typically located in like New York City proper. Yeah, what in is the city, typically city. known yeah. as. New York City. Um, the city. The like city. Their hell House was probably somewhere, to, you know, a few blocks away from. Oh, yeah. Probably the, one of the, the little the houses nestled yeah. in between yeah. the high rises. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so, yeah, they're talking about all that. And it's like a lot of other like found footage movies where you have the friends groups, like a lot of even what we saw with Blair Witch mm-hmm. and even with like some of the VHS uh, saga like little clips short movies like you have that moment where everybody's being really cheery and high hope hum yeah. yeah because obviously some stuff is about to go down yeah so they gotta give you a little bit of something before they just wreck your yeah. day mm-hmm. um, but then it cuts to Paul sits down with that uh, mm-hmm. Hector right was his the creepy the little dude name? at the piano yeah, yeah. And he's like oh, we're gonna play you a song mm-hmm. and he's like let's yeah so he's like come on hector yeah. and then he plays this little ditty which is the one that comes back multiple throughout times yeah. like two other times mm-hmm. throughout the movie so it is important to pay attention to the sounds that are mm-hmm. happening there um how you could not pay attention to it i don't know it's very yeah it's, it's creepy. It's an out of tune piano. Mm-hmm. Any out of tune piano is going to be like me. And even Paul himself. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. His character is very polarizing too. So you would just be following and paying attention because he's yeah. kind of such a like in your face character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He is. He's just like, I mean, you know, he's like, make, hits the wrong note. And he's like, come Hector. on, Hector. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. He, he's 
he's a funny guy. Yeah. And you want to laugh at him. He's also a little bit a little pervy. Pig. A little yeah. pervy at some times. Mm-hmm. There was some times where I was like, Paul, you, you got to Cross on the line a little bit. Speaking of which, the next scene is him laying down in bed. Mm. And the mm-hmm. scene that you had mentioned earlier. But he's basically talking about how, like, Alex isn't going to share yeah. <laughs> Sarah. Oh, Sarah, yeah. He was like, he was like, I was thinking this is going to be more of a, uh, what do you call it? A sex something. I don't know. Yeah. Like, he and, was but he was, was like, going to be getting some. But now it's basically just all these guys and one girl. Yeah. And so he was like, I'm hoping that some of the other actresses Are will be hot. Bangable. Yeah. Yeah. And um, then this is when the, it's, it's on his face and yeah. there's like a red exit light, I guess, illuminating the hallway mm-hmm. behind him. Mm-hmm. And he's laying like on his stomach on the bed, recording himself. So you can, and the mattress is on the floor. Yeah, and I'm assuming he's one very of those, temporary. And it's an old camcorder, I'm assuming. So it's the way he's got it facing towards him. So he's not even, he doesn't even have it flipped to where he's watching Yeah, himself. so he it's can't like, see he what's can't happening. can't see what's happening behind him. So he's talking for a good while as yeah. we see this shadow figure. Oh, so creepy. With massive hair. Yeah, like a massive shoulders. Of hair. Like, just like a brood of a person just yeah. coming in. Walk it looks in. like Hagrid. Like, sha- yeah. Hagrid's shadow. Yeah. Is literally, like, there. And I'm like, bro, do yeah. you not see this? I don't know why. And he's just I think talking. it's because of the girl that comes in later that I thought it was just a massive tall chick. And Maybe. then I was like, she just wants some, too. You were talking literally. about one to get boned. And that's she what said, she came I'm for. here. Well, and then you and were like, literally. are you sleepwalking? And yeah, because he's like, Sarah. <laughs> and then he's like, are you sleepwalking? And he's like, okay, because it just walks back out. And then mm-hmm. he's just like, that's fucking weird. And I'm like, yeah, bro. That's yeah, it really is fucking weird. weird. Yeah. Because that's not Sarah. Literally. Ah. It was so creepy. It creeped me the heck out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was very creepy. Like yeah. we said, when you can't see the face. It's like I already <laughs> sometimes enough, like in my uh, when I'm in my room, like, the, I can't the closet, have my like doors the open. Door, like something, yeah, like something's in the corner. Like I'm like, uh, I have to sleep with like my back facing the wall and mm-hmm. watching everything else. Otherwise, it's like yes, yeah, my back is uh, like the head. I need my headboard can't just be in the middle of the room. Yeah. I don't understand people who can like have empty space around mm, any part of their I bed. Feel that. Uh-huh. I used to have to have my like bed pushed against a wall, but yeah. now that's not as uh, what? what's the word. Interior design, oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, not for an adult. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be like in the middle and have bed little nightstands. Nightstands on, each on side. either side. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I'm gonna be big kid yeah. now. Um, when I was watching the movie Demon House, which mm. is uh, the fucking Zach Bagans, his mm-hmm. fucking. I've never seen it. No, it's it's dumb as hell. Okay. I also just hate Zach Bagans, but I also love him, and Who like, is that? I can't wa- I can't stop watching uh, Ghost Adventures. I don't think I know who oh. that is or what that is. The one where they like belittle ghosts. And he's like, fucking come and get me, ghost. Come oh, and really? get me. Aww. Like, he's an asshole to the ghost. To the and spirits. his fucking affliction shirts. And he just looks like a tool. I'll have to look it up. Um, <laughs> but Demon <laughs> House, it's on it's on Amazon Prime. Okay. And I was watching it to go to bed one day, as uh-huh. you do. Yeah. And it's about, obviously, does. this house that is possessed uh-huh. and it, or has like a, essentially a portal to hell, as they all do. Ooh. And. Um, it like going through and following the story and stuff like Mm -hmm. uh, he had bought the house and was living there and staying there. Anyways, that night as I was sleeping, I had this dream in which I was like in my bed and it was like I was awake Uh and I just watched my door slowly open. Oh, that's correct. That's and it was like closed, and I was like, yeah. That is a little creepy. It's like a sleep paralysis dream almost. Yeah. Like a, but my door wasn't watching. actually open. But okay. that was all the dream was. But sometimes which, that's enough. That's so creepy. then I was like, oh, fuck. Did I just like literally invite something into my house? Mm-hmm. And then I was like, but or what if I was having a bad dream or some bad vibes and Kitty's ghost came up there to help me Maybe. and she opened the little door. Oh, that's true. That's that's the one Either I'm going to go with. That's when you just <laughs> keep the good vibes and just think, no, I <laughs> deny anything no, no. negative. Yeah. Bye bye. Mm-hmm deny all the, uh, the bad juju you would think that my room is probably the safest place because there's no dolls in there uh, maybe it's not i like to sleep in my downstairs. dolls they give me company mm. yeah they fight off the bad spirits they scare all the bad spirits and they go upstairs annabelle's like because there's no the dolls fuck upstairs on, bitch this lady gave me my own chair now she's making me share it but i still like this bitch because it looks like me literally i'm gonna steal her clothes and probably her arms oh we'll fuck. Find out. oh god if they she start woke transferring up with the other bodies eight, and souls i would die anyways 
Yeah, yeah. Any uh, horror He wakes up oh, and yeah. he's filming. He's going up the stairs. Mm-hmm. We see he's being a fucking creep. Pervy because he's recording Miss Sarah and her undies, and he knows that he shouldn't be doing it because he's being all eerie, creepy about it. Like, and then kind finally of peering goes through in. the door. Yeah, yeah. And so then of course she's like, "Oh my god!" and then covers herself. And mm-hmm. then you know, Alex is like, "What are you doing in here?" And um, he's obviously wanting to look at Sarah, but he tells him that, oh, he has to tell them that the actors arrived, mm-hmm. um, which is two of the actresses and the other dude, yeah. uh, Joey, um, get there, have gotten there. Exactly. And so we kind of get to see them a little mm-hmm. bit. And he's, again, being a creep. The way that girl looks up on at the girl. Him, and it's the way she looked at him that first time. And then I'm like, this she, this bitch is going to look back up at it one more time, that long gaze. Mm-hmm. And then she does it again. And I'm like, I knew it. I already knew it. I fucking caught I it. I knew it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so um, we're meeting them. But then it cuts to the uh, back again to the author mm-hmm. guy that we're mm-hmm. interviewing. And he says, a first responder, actually, actually, no, it might have been the photographer. Someone, a first responder, ended up breaking the gag order and kind of speaking about the incident. Mm-hmm. And he says that as soon as he got in there, oh, yeah. the first thing he saw was that one of the staff members had cut their throat or yeah. had their, had their throat, throat slit. slit and then he said it, it looked like a self-inflicted wound mm-hmm, that part and yeah. so it's just a little tidbit that they give you again and then just it cuts. showing that something went horribly wrong yeah that this was not obviously yeah. a gas leak and at that point we don't know who it is either that they're talking about so at this point we could think any of these people mm-hmm. that they're talking could about. be that person mm-hmm. and then it does cut back to joey or they're talking about they said one of the staff members did survive, and it was Joey who mm-hmm. was the main big clown guy who's down there to protect the damsel the girl. in distress, mm-hmm. the girl who actress. is literally chained to the wall, which yeah. is very unfortunate for her, for her when all the shit she happens was literally just right like there. Bait. Yeah. Yeah. And Joey fucking dips. <laughs> He's like, Bye. yeah, literally. Um, I and, would too, Joey. Yeah. And yeah. but he survives, and he had the key. To unlock her too, which is yeah. why she freaked out so much. Yeah. Is because if he anything went wrong, he, he could unlock her, her out. and yeah. he didn't. He just literally bolted yeah. and left her. And it, so he survived, but nine days later, he was found dead in his bedroom and he had hanged himself. Yeah. And so that was very sad. And so yeah, essentially, that's crazy. We think n- no survivors except for Sarah, Sarah mm-hmm. who we are currently speaking Talking to. to. Mm-hmm. Um, which but, is still super weird. Yeah, exactly. And then so they go on, and I believe this is where, oh, I believe they're still, this is still an interview thing. They're telling us a little bit about the owner of the Abaddon, Andrew Tully. Oh, yeah, because they're like, well, we have to take it back t- to the beginning, the mm-hmm. owner, Andrew Tully, because then they found out that he, um, well, we then find out he had hung himself, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he, in the dining room, dining room area. Because things had not oh well basically so things kept happening to the guests of the hotel Mm -hmm. and so much to the point and you got so much negative like reviews i jumped i'm sorry yes because we find that out when the late when he's talking to the girl Mm -hmm. um no at this point yeah something had happened to this lady and her young daughter and they went missing i wrote it down um yeah so an 11 year old girl girl Mm -hmm. and her mother disappeared in the hotel and Mm -hmm. because of that business died after that, and he hanged himself mm-hmm. in the dining room because, well, because everything went wrong. Thought it went bad, even though he had cleared himself of like what had happened. Because of course, since he's the owner, he was able to provide like that mm-hmm. they had signed out or checked. Yes, out, yeah, he know, provided faked. information mm-hmm. that they had, um, and then. But he's evil. Apparently, Abaddon is the name of a demon that guards the gates to hell mm-hmm. as well. So wait, is the city named after the hotel then? No, no, no. The city was named. So it's first. Okay. The, he built the hotel. Believe, I thought he. Or he I bought thought they into said it or something. He named it that because he was super into like, yeah, the yeah. satanic cult. But maybe he just he, bought it he because moved to that city because, because of its name, that. because it matched that name that he liked and because then of it that, that and then named the hotel that. Yes. I mm-hmm. see. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, he was apparently into all the demon shit and mm-hmm. um, I didn't know. He was know trying that. to open up the gates of hell. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, well, obviously some things went wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, at one point in the middle of this, I just put Paul is a piece of shit. LOL. <laughs> I oh, don't. God. It must have been. It must have been when he was her, 
like harassing, harassing the, girl. the female actress. Oh yeah, because they're there talking, and it's the way that she kind of slightly mentions like, uh, "Oh, you heard the what happened to the missing guest yeah. or whatever." And then Paul's like, "What?" And then Alex is like, "No, nothing happened. Those are all rumors. It's mm-hmm. just stories." Shuts um, them down. Yeah, and that's yeah how we figure out basically that they have zero clue about yeah. what happened in this mm-hmm. hotel previously. Yeah, and even the guy, the the author, he's talks about I think right before that how like. I don't think any of these people like had done any research research about mm-hmm. like what had happened before they took this over. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They just went into it blindly. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah. So then they go down there and this is where we get to meet the clowns mm. and that one clown, the, our main, our main clown. Yeah. Something about him just it's scary. freaks me the fuck out. He's really creepy. He's probably one of the creepiest clowns I've mm-hmm. ever seen in my life. Yeah. I think it's something about his like slightly hunched build and then his uh you know Bert Broad and head. Ernie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Ernie. one's the one with the like little tuff of hair at the top? The t- I don't the Bert, ooh, more yeah, yeah, not yeah, yeah. the short one with the longer nose but Ernie. the tall. No, Ernie. Bert. Bert. That's Bert. Okay. Yeah, he kind of has a that short one. head shape, yeah. you know? Uh-huh. See, I was Unsettling. getting more like <laughs> I was getting more like a mix of like like, or what's the dude from the Adam family? But like scary. Oh, um, the uncle. Okay, yeah. Fester, mm-hmm. but like just like creepy. Very like creepy. Very creepy. And bloodied. And or bloodied up. It's not even bloodied. It's like a tar, yeah. like a black. It's like a blackish of blood goo mm-hmm. coming from the eyes and the mouth Festering. slash the smile. It's just very unsettling. Yeah, I don't like and it one bit. I yeah, it's and the way that at this middle point, one, hell, not. yeah, and so <laughs> and at this point, it's very. Very like we have to know at this point because they make it very abundant and clear that this thing cannot move its head. Yes. It cannot turn its head. It will very a lot of amount of times throughout this turn whole movie. It's goddamn but head. It will, but it's not supposed to because it's telling a, us that and it's, it's not a supposed dummy. to move. It's a dummy and it's not like motion or anything. Like it shouldn't be moving. It's very much like if you had a mannequin a mannequin yeah. whose head was just solely connected to the shoulders no little crease to move its head at all no little neck connector thing if you just had one solid bloop yeah there's no ability to turn its head they two of them were supposed to be props and then the middle one is the costume mm-hmm. for someone to wear and sit there aka Joey yeah to sit there and be like and protect the girl Rah! Yeah, and, and jump, jump scare out, people. scare them, and then yes, right protect, before they walk out, make sure no one's gonna like fucking grope the girl. Ah, uh, anyways, yeah, um, yeah. so scary ass clown. Yes, and so basically, they. Oh, what? What? Oh, your notes are probably better than mine. Okay, so Paul heard a strange noise, and they're all awake to it. Oh, investigate. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, so basically, they're going around. But then my next night, my next note is, oh, what the fuck? No, 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 to his eye being pulled halfway out, was, which is when Joey, like, oh, has Joey, that trick. Oh, Joey, yeah, because he shows them what's happening, mm-hmm. um, what his little party trick is. He can push his eye out. Yeah. Um, I think I think maybe I went back to correct a note, and mm-hmm. then maybe that one got in the middle. But, yeah, so basically, Paul heard a strange noise, and they're all yeah. awake. And they're like, well, obviously, that? we heard something. Yeah. And I think someone said it sounded like screaming coming from downstairs. Mm-hmm. And um, they, they, I think they tell Alex or something to, like, stay with Sarah. And then Mac, mm-hmm. is it Mac and? I think it's just. Or Tony. Tony and Paul. No. I don't remember at this point because there's okay. multiple times that they go downstairs. Yes, actually. So, at this point, Paul. No. Yes. <laughs> All of them. Alex and Sarah had gone into the city. That's this is right. in the uh, daytime. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So Alex <laughs> and her went to the city, and that's whenever... To- so I think it had legitimately just cut Max from is, nighttime. Well, one, and I remember, too, because Max reading that book, and I'm like, why are you just reading a book there of all times? Just I know, and, like, Hector's sitting there at the piano, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. that's kind of a creepy thing. And then he was just like, so Tony's the only other one here, right? And he was yeah. like, yeah, he must be... Um, it, they thought he was in the basement. In the basement. Yes. And he's not because then the, well, Paul is walking through. He's like looking at everything. He's like, oh, that's scary. Making little funny little comments about the things. Mm-hmm. And then he finally goes and he's looking towards the basement and he turns and there's the little freaking clown there. The, just the big ass up, clown. The big clown. 
not and not even propped up. He was just standing, standing there, and he's like, standing. "Oh my god!" Like he gets a little jump scare, and then he's like, "Good one!" And he's like, "What are you looking at?" Because the he thinks clown's it's Tony. looking. Yeah, he thinks it's Tony, like wearing the whole thing as a, like wearing the mask and everything. And he looks downstairs, and then as he looks back up at him, its freaking head is turned, and it's turned. looking at him directly, and he's mm-hmm. like freaked out. And he's, he's like, "Fuck, good one!" And he tries to laugh it off. He's like, well, "Okay, when well, you're ready to work, you know, call me back, and we'll get to work." You mm-hmm. know. Um, and then he walks back, and then he sees freaking Tony with Mac. And I think, he, well, I don't think he calmly walked. I, I'm pretty sure he was like, fuck, no, fuck. Yeah, and like he was already ran kind of... a little bit. And then once he heard Tony, he started sprinting. Yeah. And was like, what the fuck, Tony? You were just over there. Yeah. How are you in here now? Like, lost his mind. And then he runs, runs back, and obviously, sure. Not there anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, I put Paul rightfully freaking the fuck out. And that's when he's like kind of accusing Tony and and Mac of like, you know, trying to play a prank on him. Mm-hmm. But they're like, we don't even know what you're talking about. And to the point where they go and review the yeah, tapes. Yeah, they have to go look at the footage with everybody. Even Alex and Sarah are back and he shows them. And it's the way they're like, oh, once they see that it actually turned its head, they're like, what the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. Like, what's happening there? But then it's then like they're like they think Paul is playing a trick that's on right, them. Yeah, that he they has edited that. this mm-hmm. footage or like he Manipulated set it all it. up. Yeah, because then at one point they accused Mac of helping him or someone of mm-hmm. Mac of helping him. I think him. it would have been Tony. Tony, because I think them. Tony and that's him right. were closer. That's right. And so, um, but yeah, they because they were kind of the guys the who new hires, the ones that came after. Yeah, and they're they're kind of the construction guys. Mm-hmm. Like they help put in all the cameras and all. They're like the behind the scenes yeah. dudes. Um, but yeah, very fucking creepy. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, then it cuts to them hanging up the hell house sign, which we got a little glimpse of at the beginning on the ground. Mm-hmm. It was like oh, covered yeah, by right. some yeah. leaves and they stuff. They refurbished it. Yeah. And, um, well, the, I think that was at the beginning whenever they, yeah. Cause the Abaddon hotel one, but at the beginning, oh, like yeah, very yeah. beginning when Diane is That's breaking right. in, you see the hell house you see like, it on the floor. sign. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the ground. And, um, but yeah, so basically they are, they hang that up and then they're kind of doing a test run mm-hmm. of the house. And yeah. I guess they put like a, a little GoPro. camera on top of Paul's head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And basically are like, okay, well take us through the house. Like, mm-hmm. let's see what this is. And, um, it starts with the strobe lights going and mm-hmm. he's starting the thing. And then all of a sudden he doesn't get very far. No, it's basically Already, like yeah. he gets down the hallway that's literally it and he starts the strobe lighting and he's like all right you know he's like asking them like wait how many You're dummies like, are we, we have supposed three to have? right and or he was like how many dummies and they were like three and they were like he's like are you sure because we're watching that there's four yeah there's <laughs> yeah. a fourth person yeah and i'm assuming it's the clown right it looked like it um, at times but then at times it looked like something else yeah because they pan in on the, they like slow down the stills mm-hmm. for you later mm-hmm. and it's a different i'm kind of getting the vibe that maybe it's, it's like a demon supernatural like a ghost or that it's possibly andrew tully mm, mm-hmm. i don't yeah. know his, his his soul yeah because his it's essence. it's kind of a man in a suit mm-hmm. and his face looks a little not quite like i would imagine someone hanged like you know not like mm-hmm. bent neck lady mm-hmm. his face looked a little bit like more smushed kind of like the clown's face yeah but mm-hmm. it was a little more square like like it got squished this Subtle way, like down. Yeah. Because the clown's face looked like a little bit longer, like it was squished in sideways and his was squished in down. So he had kind of a square. I love how you're like doing Yeah, it no one can hands. see these hand motions. I love that. But um, no, really yeah. Just, I need you to understand. Yeah, Everyone no, I see can. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the way that he's in there though and he's freaking out at this point because he's like already had some weird shit happen to him. And so I'd this is happening. Out. He's freaking out. He's in the dark and he's yelling at them and beating on the door to let them let him out and mm-hmm. lock it because they had locked him in there. And so finally he gets out and he, poor boy, like just starts throwing up because he was yeah. so freaking scared, I believe. Which is like, mm-hmm. okay, sure, Paul has like been an asshole in the past. Mm-hmm. But if a grown who's man going, who like, does this for a living. Yeah, who's going through the links to prank y'all this hard of like actually making yeah. himself throw up or like. And, yeah. like, and it wasn't or like lying. a lot of throw up. Like it looked like like bile. Yeah. Like it wasn't huge amounts of food or anything it's Mm -hmm. not like he like prepared to throw up stuff like we are seeing like a very desperate like Mm -hmm. he's just he was freaked the fuck out yeah a grown-ass man who does this for a living Mm -hmm. and not easily spooked like he volunteered to go through the house alone and then he comes out throwing up yes caitlin's mad i fucking believe him i am she's team Paul. Team Paul. Paul really yeah, has everybody's it. Everybody's ignoring Paul. Paul gets fucked. Yeah, he really does. <laughs> Paul gets... Poor Paul. 
poor Paul. Yeah. Because then after that, like you said, they do the little slowdown where you kind of see the little stills of the f- like what the little face it was. They kind of give you each like flash mm-hmm. of the still as it gets it's moving like closer. Yeah. And then it's kind of disappearing from some too, mm-hmm. though. So like you'll get one of the bright flashes and it's there. And then it's not there. And then and it's, it's there. Closer, and then it's not there. And, and each bit. time it gets closer to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just creepy. creepy. It's really creepy. Um, and Paul is basically like, nah. Mm-hmm. Something else is happening in this house. He's been he's really not having it at this point. And Alex was just like, no. He doesn't care. Yeah. And yeah. everyone, everyone, as I think one of the interviewers, interviewees yeah. says, was so loyal to Alex. I think that's what the author was talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. they None of them wanted to leave um, because, yeah, like they said, they'd been doing it for a while. And I think that's when it explains like that him and Mac were, were longtime mm-hmm. friends. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. They they'd been together for a while. Like I mean, this was their group. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So then we cut to another waking moment where yeah. people are woken awoken from their slumber. Paul is right because he's like, I heard a noise. Yep. It's Paul yeah. again, and I believe it's Mac. Mac this time. is there because then he comes out and he's like, What was that? And he's like, I heard a noise too. And, and then the fucking clown is at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. It's just like it's really fucking scary. staring at them. <laughs> Yeah. No. And then the way that Mac accuses him of like, did you put that there? Yeah. Yeah. Poor no. Paul. Yeah. And then Mac just like walks, walks right down by there. It. And then Paul's like, be careful. And he like, just like, it's a prop. It's a mannequin or whatever. And so he's like, I'm um, just like picks it up mm-hmm. and is like dragging it basically. And I was like, oh, yeah, I know. And then it's the way that then <laughs> they turn the corner and they fucking see Sarah. Yeah. They get down like, the stairs. Mm-hmm, just like she's staring facing the at wall. the wall. And she's mumbling, and it almost and sounds like, like she's reverse. speaking reverse. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. It sounded reverse. It felt reverse. Reverse. Because reverse. <laughs> at this point, we had already seen her like weirdly staring, staring at a at, statue. That's right. Yeah, because they were filming some commercial. A commercial. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they didn't want to give away the haunt, so they were outside mm-hmm. on one of the benches, and she's it's like this a moment. It's a religious statue of sorts. Uh-huh. It looks like a mother, like Magdalene, mm-hmm. Mother like a little angel, Mary, something like that kind of so thing. And yeah, they're doing all that outside, and then they're kind of. Look at her, and then you can she's tell she's like in this moment. It. Yeah, and I mean they call her name, and she's like, oh, you know, hey, yeah, but you can tell she was like in a trance. There yeah. was something going on. She doesn't even really like, affecting. She her. just looks at like them, she didn't even smiles notice, and walks you know? off. She didn't realize she was there. Yeah, basically. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then so when she wakes up, she's freaking out. Yeah, as anyone she's would like crying and like freaking out, and, and then Max uh, trying to comfort. Yeah, and then they literally turn back around to where they had left the clown, and the it's not there anymore. The clown has moved again. Yeah, and they're <laughs> definitely freaking out at this point. So they start running. Yeah, because they're like, uh, "Oh my god!" Out. Yeah, they run through. They get through like what all the way to the kitchen area or something like that. Uh, or I think it's. Uh, somewhere Something. where grandfather clock was That's because right. then it chimes yeah it chimes and then they're looking in the dining room area and they're all freaking out at this point mm-hmm. and then they turn around and they see the clown again it's blocking their way yeah now. and so yeah at this point you just hear them all hyperventilating they're freaking out mm-hmm. you just hear sarah kind of crying screaming freaking out yeah it was and then, very yeah and then, it, and then it cuts to the morning again right yeah yeah but yeah this house creepy af and it's yeah. very clear that um Paul is not as excitable as he was previously. Oh, no. He's very, he's almost, he looks worn out. Yeah, because we we get to, cl- we cut to the next scene of the morning, like, and he's kind of like from the van filming whatever Alex is tr- telling Sarah to console her. Because mm-hmm. they're obviously still staying. And then we and cut to. And she's clearly looking yeah. fucked up, too. Uh, yeah. They both and seen because some Because that's whenever he, Paul gets on the camera and he's like, you know, um, we're from my point of view, we clearly don't shouldn't be here, mm-hmm. but we're going to stay here and poor Sarah, she doesn't look good. Yeah. And she yeah, usually he does she look good. Yeah. You know, he makes but, a little comment. Yeah, so but that she was doesn't. on brand for him. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's clear that, and well, he, they are being targeted. Mm-hmm. Those two specifically, mm-hmm. especially Paul. I, I think Paul, because he has Sarah the camera as well. Yeah. I know they have cameras everywhere, but I think it's because he's the one that's like literally film, like he's filming everything and he has more of an eye on seeing everything. Whereas yeah. everyone else, like everyone's busy doing stuff, getting yeah. the whole house together. But he is quite literally watching everything. That's yeah. his job. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, he's poor Paul. And now, a word from our sponsors. As if the McCrispy couldn't get any better, Bacon and Ranch just entered the chat. The Bacon Ranch McCrispy, available at participating McDonald's for a limited time. 
Um, so basically now though it cuts to Paul. Mm-hmm. This is this is it. Oh my um, god, the scene. Yes. So it's wakes to him. It because oh poor Paul. And it's the way that a, I, he just because wakes he had, up. He had signed off on the one right before. He was like, all right, his little little catchphrase. He's like sweet sleep. Sweet sleep or something like that. Sleep tight, sleep, sleep well, tight. sleep sweet. I don't he know. says something, <laughs> and then it's the way that like it cuts to him waking up again, and I'm like, oh no, he did not get a sweet sleep. No, Poor guy. Because there is some creepy ass girl S- sitting against his wall, S- like legs there. straight Literally, out, yeah, just like a sitting, doll, like a doll sitting sitting on the floor. Yeah, and um, he's kind of like he hadn't noticed he doesn't her notice quite it yet. yet, and then he's like, oh, and, and then he finally sees her he and does. He goes, oh fuck, drops the camera, yeah, with him into the bed. You see. Him getting under the covers, mm-hmm. we're basically hiding under the covers with him, with her, and um, as so we were seeing her, but as he sees her, her head turns towards him too, mm-hmm. and then like he's basically it's like so hiding, and then he looks again, and she's like getting up, or mm-hmm. you can see her getting up, oop, yeah, as he's getting under the covers, and then he gets back under, and then it's like you can hear her getting closer and closer, yeah, and, and I was he, like, don't look again, don't look again, and he does, and at this point is where I don't think I was actually hiding my face from my pillow, but I was definitely doing this thing, you uh-huh. know, where you like kind of don't want to look, but you're like looking. tuck your chin into your chest, mm-hmm. and you're like mm, trying to look through oh, the tops of your about. eyelids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was doing there because I was like, oh fuck, 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 and then yep, of course he looks, and she's wow. yeah, you see her face, and then just like wow. And then it cuts. <gasps> and it's creepy. Yeah, Most of the time I'm not a like fan a, of the that, face. And that was, it was, was very creepy. believable And then again. it's like, you know, what happens with footage? It like goes like, starts cutting. <laughs> mm-hmm. Makes all As you're noises. editing. Because yeah. it's film. Yeah. Um, and yeah. So now Paul is missing. Mm-hmm. and Because we wake up the next morning and uh, who finds it? Tony? Right? Yeah, I think Tony. Finds the camera and he's like, where are you at, Paul? Yeah, where the fuck are mm-hmm. you? They can't find him. And then Mac is saying, this is what he does. Like, yeah. he's just a fuck up. He'll show back up. And then Alex is like, something happened four years ago. Remember when he did that? This is the same thing. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, you're going to hold that against him. Yeah. And then basically Tony's like, have you tried calling him? Nobody's and they're both him. like, oh, no. no. And then so he Tony, they were both like, I don't have his number. And I was like, how do you not fucking have his number? Yeah. Tony's like, OK, fine. Use my phone. Mm-hmm. And then so Alex calls him on Tony's phone. Mm-hmm. And immediately, you start hearing the piano notes. Or it's right? like screams. Oh, that's right. It's very oh, on the loud. Phone. That's yeah. right. On, on the, the phone. phone. Sorry. Yeah. 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 And I remember. Then he like basically like, breaks Tony's phone and then just walks away. Yeah. And they're like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? And then Tony's just looking down at it and they're just like, oh, I don't know. Yep. And then it cuts to them waking up and someone is playing the <laughs> same song yeah. Paul was playing in the middle of the night. Yeah. And this is where we get Tony and Mac going to mm-hmm. investigate this time this okay this is right this is when they tell alex and sarah like alex you go stay with sarah yeah tony and matt get up and they're gonna go look and check it out because they all think that it's paul yeah mm-hmm. and as they're going to check like it looks like a, in a few spots it looks like someone is kind of standing in some of the entryways mm-hmm. behind them and i had to kind of pause and rewind it a few times to be like did, is did that I really Paul? see is that? that someone? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I don't think it was Paul. I, I do think in some of them it was literally just one of the dummies. One of the props, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just dumb. A but, lot of those um, uh, times the props too for me, I was like, wait, what is that? And I was like, oh, no, it's, it's just, just a prop. A prop. Yeah, 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 it's exactly. already there. Yeah. And um, you're not alone. The thing is playing like kind of the whole time. Mm-hmm. But as soon as they get to the room, the piano stops. Yeah. Well, they're look, but then they look away from it, and, and it, it goes ding, ding. and they're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, because obviously nothing was in there with them, and they're like, "Where are Checking you at?" Behind Paul? the couch, and they're like, "Where's he at?" And so they're still looking. They make their way all the way, all the way down to the basement because they heard some yelling and thumping oh, coming right. from there. Mm-hmm. And so Mac and Tony, they're trying to go find him, and basically, um, one of them is like, "I'm going to go lock the other door so he can't get through." Mm-hmm. Basically, like, let's oh, the corner him. Cellar door. That's yeah, right. the exit. And so that way we can have mm-hmm. him there. And Mac at one point, at one, I think at one point goes, I might just fucking die on these steps. And I was like, Bitch, yeah, you fucking might. Probably later. Yep. <laughs> um, but they go into the basement and they're going to lock the storm door and stuff like that. And uh, they're basically checking everything. Yeah. And that's why that Tony then sees the right whenever they're getting into whatever the yeah, storm cooler, cellar, cooler of sort. Something. It kind it of looked like a pantry. Like a, I don't know what it was down there. It looked like it had those like big doors for like a, mm. like a store cooler, you know, mm. like at a, um, like at a restaurant, mm-hmm. the yeah, big yeah, yeah. like a walk-in. Yeah, a walk-in. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. the word. And so they were, um, 
Yeah, but right before, well, it's mm. because Mac is in there trying to find whatever, and then Tony's out there and he notices that the freaking clowns, whatever, their heads. All three. All three of them are like turned and looking so, directly right at, at him. So then he jumps in there and he's like telling them, like, their heads are turned, their heads are turned. And they're like, he, Mac's like, you know, that doesn't make any sense. Do you believe in ghosts or whatever? And he goes, and well, I don't. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, fuck you, Mac. Yeah. And so they walk back Sorry. out there. And uh, Tony's reluctant, but he finally goes back out there and it's the way that their heads are turned the other way and so then he's even more like fuck like yeah. this is this is yeah makes it look like it, maybe his mind's just playing tricks on him yeah. and stuff and it's like no like it fucking happened like review the camera mm -hmm. and it then happened yeah because then what they go back upstairs and they or is it they down there that they find him Paul is sitting against the wall that's and right he's they looking finally found him. creepy as he is fuck. very creepy he's, he's non responsive not, yeah which as we have seen from Paul the entire movie. That's not Paul. He's very vocal. Paul talks. He's not a we'll placent character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's very much like... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, <laughs> like, he is what... Remember when we watched Cloverfield, the, the, that character yeah, the behind guy. the camera. Also yeah, the camera who guy. could not stop talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole entire time. Yeah. Who also dies. <laughs> um, and so yeah um, they finally also find happened him in New they're York? trying to yeah they're trying to like wake him up but he won't like or not wake up but like trying to get him to respond but he won't and so then what we cut to um, the next day yeah already after that they're like well Paul's back like Tony's saying like something is fucked up yeah. and they're like Paul's just being a dick and Tony's like he hasn't said a single oh, word right, yeah. since he showed back because up because when Tony is like I quit yeah, he's trying to, like, he's saying, we need to shut this down because some shit is going down. Yeah. It's only, it's what, not okay. a day before, mm -hmm. yeah, uh-huh. It's the day before Alex is basically, like, writing off everything he says. Mm -hmm. McNamara is not, like, backing him no. up, not uh -uh. saying anything to, he was like, you saw this too, dude. Yeah, because like, that's when come everybody's on, he's like, fuck you, Mac, and fuck you, Alex. Yeah, and he's he's just saying, like, he's mad. He, mad, mad. He's like losing his mind on them. He as he out. should. And then that's whenever freaking Mac Namira comes up to like yelling behind him and he's like, You can't leave. You can't leave. Not until you hear this. You don't know the full you don't know all of it. You got yeah. you gotta listen to this. And then, then we get a weird And then we get a little glitch. glitch and then he tells them something and then we open up to the most beautiful shot of the movie. Yep. Tony, Tony just, just sitting in his sitting field of grass. grass. And it's just like beautifully winding by. And he's like and we're kind of at an angle because, yeah. like, we're a camera placed mm -hmm. on the ground. We've got some blades of grass in front mm -hmm. of us. Very and nice. he's just like, he's right, I can't leave. Yeah. And all this and that kind of mumbling to himself. And then finally Matt comes back up and he's just like, oh, what would he say? Like, he, he's basically just telling him again, like, Max yeah. is saying um, he yeah. can't leave. And he says, and then Tony's like, who else you knows? knew, but you didn't tell me. Yeah. And, like, who else knows? And he said, it's just you. Just Alex and Mac know. Mm -hmm. And at this point I was like, what, what? What? what is it? Because yeah. we don't know and, and we don't get told something. And because of that, they all have to stay. They and all have to say he can't leave. I don't know. Yeah. We and talked about this it. earlier. Yeah. We're all confused. Maybe it was, it probably was that he sunk all of his money. He into it. bankrupt them or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tied all of their money into this one thing. Yeah. And then, so then it cuts back to Sarah being interviewed and Diane. Mm. No, Diane. 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 Diane Sawyer. Diane von Fastenberg. Um, <laughs> the interviewer is basically asking her if everything was ready for opening mm -hmm. night and whether or not if Alex was of sound mind. I love how she was just like, was a was a who let a, uh, were y'all ready? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trying to beat around that like, yeah. is uh -huh. this somehow y'all's fault? Like, did y'all murder yeah. people? Yeah. And, um, and Sarah was like, yeah, I thought we were. Yeah. We were. She, and she was just like, what, what the fuck kind of question is this? Yeah. Like, it wasn't uh -huh. our fault. Yeah. Like, kind of was it was because you ignored all the signs uh -huh. um but yes and then so now we're cutting to opening night right mm -hmm. uh -huh. and we have all the footage of like all the people being there and we have like this lady come on and be like welcome and only the, da, 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 da. three actors for the whole house that's what was, I was very thinking. confusing that's what me. i thought too and i was like this is a really big it's a hotel yeah because i was like sarah's not in costume and two yeah, of them are stationary and yeah. one's at the door yeah so yeah it i'm like no all of this is a and they had other actors no, I don't even know, no, because that was the actress who was. I don't even know, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, they just props, purely props, purely props, purely I don't know. props. I was I don't like, know. interesting, because like, yeah, none of the staff was dressed up either. No, so I was very confused. Yeah. Um. Also, Alex was wearing a tuxedo vest thing over his T-shirt, and I hated that. Oh, it was yeah, a very terrible right. move. Yeah. I was like, ew. Very not um, cute. 
But <laughs> then we're kind of looking through. We mm-hmm. see that they've got a good size crowd lined yeah, up. They really it's do. It's a really fucking long line. Um, yeah, because they're peering out over the balcony and they're like, oh, wow, look at all those people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we go down to the basement. We see homegirls all locked up and half naked. And so the way that they have to fucking cut it off of her. And I was like, y'all kind of like, why did Mac have to do that? Like, oh, why yeah, couldn't her dress right. be cut I was prior? Like, what? Yeah, no. He's and like, then I was kind of panning down the boobies kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, mm Mm, okay mm. um and already we're seeing that there's lots of walkie feedback happening yeah. again Interference. like uh tony and alex are sitting mm-hmm. in the control room basically saying like cue the lights here do this yeah. do or like saying where they need to mm-hmm. make things to scare the people the effects yeah and there's they're talking to mac and he's down there and his walkie it's isn't not making received. sound yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so then one of them's like off to a great start with broken, broken walkies. Um, and then basically yeah. Mac hides in a closet. Yeah. He's in this like kind it of closet looking It cuts to the calamity, thing. like everything yeah. happening. Yeah. And Mac's like hiding in a closet because. Sarah runs in there at some point. Yeah. yeah. Sarah That's runs in. Because I think that was just this point where he was controlling or maybe he was going to hop out at some mm-hmm. certain point or control some of the mechanics behind it. But, yeah, because we have Tony and Alex in the control room, and they're watching everything mm-hmm. at that point. And then that's because it's it's cutting in footage that we saw from the beginning with new footage. Which I loved that. Yeah, yeah. I loved how seamlessly it was starting to put things in. Together for us. Because we we're still looking at stuff that we saw earlier, but then we were seeing, like, what their side was happening mm-hmm. while all the people were walking through. And at certain point, they're like, why the fuck is in uh, someone responding or what happened and w- there? And they see the clown guy run Yeah, past. that's right. They're like, why the fuck did he leave? Yeah. yeah. And so he tells Sarah, like, run upstairs, see what's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so then that's when we get Sarah running out, lining up the footage. So mm-hmm. we've seen the clown. We've seen Sarah. And then Sarah said she saw Paul. Yeah, that's right. She she thought she saw Paul looking through her to uh, Oh, yeah, through that was why things. she hit. Yeah, in there with him. Exactly. Yeah. She's like, I thought I saw him. Yeah. You know? And that, and that's whenever they're like, we don't know what the fuck is going on. Exactly. <laughs> because then all the chaos is breaking out, and, and they hear we it flash happening. Flash down yeah. to the basement, and we see that. And then we have like that footage that it says of like what what's it called? I forgot what it said. In, like uh, rare one, footage goer. Whatever. One of I, I think it was just recovered. Yeah, recovered footage. Recovered something footage. like that. But yeah, and you we're have, seeing that she's crying, saying this isn't this a part, isn't of, part of, the of the show. This it's, isn't part of the show. It's not a part of the act. Yeah, yeah. and um, she's clearly. Like in distress, yeah, and then so then we also see Joey get up and run there. Mm-hmm. It flashes to that, so it's showing us all these different multiple angles. perspectives, yeah. yeah, basically of the same things that we've seen. And then we have the, the whatever we the cloaked arch, beings, uh, the things, yeah, yeah the, I don't know what whatever they look like hooded figures, yeah, um, almost kind of you know in like Harry Potter, Harry Potter, yeah, yeah. the ones the, the Death Eaters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the black robes. Oh, you're yeah. talking about, um, I know who you're talking about. You're talking about the, uh, <laughs> they suck your soul. Well, not the Dementors, the but mentors? yes, the Death oh. Eaters. Okay, death, e- yeah. death Eaters they, was yeah, the word I was trying to think of. Yeah. They were wearing, yeah. And um, yeah, that's kind of, kind of looked like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And then basically we have everybody yelling and screaming and freaking out downstairs in the basement clearly. because something's happening. And then it's like cut and cut. And we have this thing getting closer and closer to the people. Finally, we get like a little face attacking the camera. And then we just see, a body hanging on the chains that looked like it like ripped her body apart. I don't oh. know if you noticed that. No, I didn't. Yeah. Um, it's very fast. It's literally like a sp- sp- second of a oh, frame. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'll have to go back and look because I want to see that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll find and it for you probably on the YouTube one. These, so, yeah, after this, we get Mac basically leading people out, trying to get people out. And then at one point, the door slams shut and he's locked in. And then so he's trying to find another way and go through another girl, another door. And then we get that creepy girl there again. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This must be where I saw that because Melissa's still chained up. And now Tony is locked in the fucking basement. And he's he's just down there. He's poor Tony. He's fucked. Yeah. I don't know how that happened or what. But then Max and Sarah, Mac and Sarah, sorry, my phone autocorrected. They run up to the attic and find Alex in the beginning of... He had hanged himself. Yeah, they and found him and he was hanging himself. He wasn't and quite freaking dead out. yet because he was still struggling. They're like trying to get him down. Like, hold on, hold on. Which has got to be so your lifelong, your childhood best friend and your lover. Like yeah. finding you dying. Uh, it's literally horrific. Uh, horrific, yes. Yeah. But then all the these hooded figures come in and attack. Literally, same thing. Death Eaters come and attack them. They push you and that's when you have like the camera falling to the ground. You see that he is now 
dead mm-hmm. and his arms were limp by his side and I'm, I'm assuming mac was killed in that instance as well yeah i would assume I guess, so too because he goes down so at some point and the camera's throughout down all with the him. chaos that's the still of it oh yeah cool oh wait who's this person standing naked in the corner though Ah, uh, right I don't know, because that's where the body was chained. So maybe her soul is now a part of the... Oh, the house. Yeah. It looks like a weird, like, it almost looks like E.T. Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, the body that's hanging? Yeah, I see what you mean there. <laughs> oh, oh, that's crazy. Oh, can you screenshot that? Um, Yeah. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, But yeah, so then, then it cuts back to, after that camera breaks there, Sarah asks to take a break. Mm-hmm. And... She said that she's feeling she just needs a little bit of a rest. And they were like, you can sleep here. Like, you know, they're interviewing her in another hotel. Hotel. And she was like, it's okay. I've already got a room. And she says, just whenever you're ready again, like, I'm going to go rest for a while. Whenever you're ready, come find me. I'll be in room 2C. And um, she says, if you're really curious about the house, you should just go and see it. For yourself, yeah. And so then... Diane and Jonathan leave to go see the house. They follow mm-hmm. her exactly. And they get downstairs and they ask the front desk the clerk. clerk. Yeah. Concierge, to, whatever you call it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To let Sarah know that they will be back. And the clerk says, and they were like, she's staying in room 2C. And the clerk said, none of our rooms have, have letters. letters. Yeah. And then they say, okay, well then let Sarah Havel know that will mm. be back and they're like we don't have a sarah havel staying with us which i'm also Spooky. pretty sure they're not allowed to tell yeah but any of that information. <laughs> yeah but well um and then so mitchell stays behind to keep cataloging the footage mm-hmm. and he unfortunately finds Gets to this find out weird what happens. shit yeah after they already left and it's too late yeah so they go off to go look at the freaking uh a da 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 hotel what is it called abaddon abaddon, abaddon yeah. hotel and then mitchell is reviewing the film and then we get to actually see what really went on mm-hmm. the rest of the night and that is is that um Ooh, what's we her then face follow picked up the Sarah, camera. She's yeah. picked up the camera. She's walking down, and it's the way that she runs into Paul. And there's hooded figures all throughout the house behind yeah. her. Mm-hmm. They're kind of like following, following her. And she finally gets to Paul, and then she puts the camera down. And we see them like she's giving him an embrace, but then oh right oh, yeah did I don't probably I just know Paul starts beating the fuck yeah, out yeah she gives him an embrace, <laughs> but then he's being all weird and quiet, so she kind of backs up and he and grabs like, the camera and he starts banging her in the head with mm-hmm. it and then she falls to the ground and then we uh, see her like basically ba- gurgling choking, on her blood dying. Yeah. and then she gets dragged away by something yeah one of the demons that we don't hooded see. figures i guess and that's the the blood that we saw like the, the string dragged, yeah the yeah, dragged blood and then then we see paul coming back in the frame just his legs and then just his he feet. grabs something and then he cuts his throat you can There's tell a giant shard of glass is, yeah, yeah yeah he cuts his throat and then falls to the ground and we just see him basically bleed out and it's us. a wonderful i personally love this shot because yes the camera is still on the ground Mm because we were watching sarah's face dying yeah like as if she was right in front of us like or she's she's laying on the floor and then he comes like this so it's like kind of beautifully yeah so she yeah Uh she's horizontal and then he's Uh vertical and we're just seeing his feet and we see him bend down pick up the glass Mm -hmm. and then you have to infer a little bit and you have to remember back to the beginning when they say oh as soon as we entered the house because she Mm -hmm. was almost to the front door Mm -hmm. that they found a self-inflicted yeah like neck cut and so then you're like oh fuck that's what he's about to do and then he does and you don't actually see him do it but then you see his body slump down and then him you can see a little bit of his neck but it's i I thought it was just very Mm -hmm. well done that Mm -hmm. you it wasn't like in your face gore yeah i liked that because, well, it's that tasteful. wouldn't be super believable. A tasteful suicide. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but, yeah. And so, basically, Mitchell's like, yo, what the fuck? I got to tell them right now that mm-hmm. we've been interviewing a dead bitch. <laughs> yeah. Because she's fucking dead. I just watch her die. And, basically, Diane's like, oh, it's, it's just Mitchell. I'll call him later. Yeah. And she should have answered that phone. Literally, because she when they should've. get in there, they're looking at everything. It's the way they're like, it's funny because she's kind of looking like, and that's the spot from that part. And mm-hmm. that's the part from that foot. She's and clearly like has this. studied yeah. this tremendously yeah. in great depth. And then they finally get up to the rooms and that's when they see the room to see. And she's like, oh my God. You and I think? loved the way that as we were going through uh-huh. with Diane and seeing each of these All the things, same key moments that we saw throughout the film. Yeah. So like when it flashed on the piano, we got to see Paul like happily playing with Hector. It was almost like paying 
tribute mm-hmm. to each of the members. Mm-hmm. There was a scene, I think, with Sarah smiling. And it, when we passed the bar, we saw that yeah. that first night where they were having drinks the around the bar. Yeah. yeah, talking about, we don't talk about queens, all that stuff. And then, yes, that's when she ignores Mitchell's phone call. They get upstairs, and lo and behold, what is the room that her and Alex were staying in? 2C. 2C. And mm-hmm. her room is in the Abaddon fucking hotel. Yeah. It's not in that other hotel. <laughs> and when they open the door, she's being creepy as fuck, just, yeah, just staring just out the there. window. Yeah. And like then she, she always does. And then it's the way that face. turns around, and then there's a hooded cloak person in there. Yeah. And her face is like gashed mm-hmm. open, mm-hmm. as it was when mm-hmm. she got when murdered. She yeah, uh, but haha, her face is cut open and they're stuck in her room. Oh, God. <laughs> well, because like then we have everybody getting murdered by her or whoever the demons are. And now Diane and uh, that dude, not Mitchell, what's the other? Jacob? Uh, Jonathan? Jonathan. Jonathan are now yeah. part of the um, Abaddon they're Hotel They're in the house forever. as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. the hooded figures come to help. Basically, they just kind of flash yeah. in. They're like, boop. They app- mm-hmm. a- what's it? Apparated. App- is that the word? Uh huh. Like an apparition. Appar- they, Apparated. Uh, uh, Isn't that what it's called in? Disa- you disapparate when you leave, and you when you come disappear. through. Disappear. Um. Anyways, disapparate yeah. is when you like disappear. They're yeah, basically yeah. there. They Which help beat the shit out of them, mm-hmm. and then basically we just get the camera falling to the floor, mm-hmm. and then very much like the ending of Blair the Witch, glitches. and all of that happened like basically when they enter the room. That's less than a minute. Oh yeah, like so that ending it was very like so fast. boom, 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 <laughs> and then it ends done, and it's like oh, yeah, oh because fuck. Black. Okay, and then we just get credits. We get a creepy piano bit. We get the mm. same creepy piano bit mm-hmm. that uh, Paul was playing earlier, and a pic of the OG crew with the text saying that no one knows what happened to this day. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the and ending never will feel a little tad rushed. But I still, I still liked the whole bulk of the film enough to not be too bothered by that. Yeah. You know, um, overall, I thought. The premise of it was really good. A lot better than Hellfest, I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> yeah. But How yeah, I like I like the concept. Um, I would give it probably like um, I'll give it three boos. Three boos. I'll give it three boos. Yeah. And any right other reasons middle. other than what um, you just said? Well, other th- I mean, the only like s- hmm. I you know what? Maybe I'm not being maybe I'm being critical in a sense of like an over like genre like whole horror type of way but if i put it in perspective of like found footage and documenting style like type of mm-hmm. things you know what i'll give it like a four a four yeah because it is it is good for what it is like yeah for what it is it's it's, it's a documentary style of film you get a little horror you get a little paranormal act in it mm-hmm. it's um i mean it's I guess my only qualm with it is what I have with all found footage films most of the time is just that they make me feel a little nauseous and a little sicky. Yeah, but a other hard than, to watch. I, but other than that, like I enjoyed it. I actually thought it was a pretty good premise. I like that even at the end of it, you still don't really know exactly all mm-hmm. what really happened, and you just kind of left with this like, wow, this was really creepy, eerie shit. Yeah, that that's it. And it I mean, is, the it way that it and, with you. and also like I said too, in hindsight, now realizing that like this is creeped me out like the night of and like mm-hmm. i'll probably be even creeped out tonight then yeah then it did what it was supposed to do it creeped yeah me out. Mm-hmm. exactly mm-hmm. i think in the show notes that i wrote for this one um because i already went ahead and entered them so i mm-hmm. want to forget i was like it's sure to have you like looking over your shoulder oh yeah for the yeah, rest yeah. of the day because yes when i i started um i was trying to remember exactly which one this was because i was starting to have Meld a them bunch all together. yeah so the house of october built which is my That's the one Mm -hmm. that I really enjoyed for the Halloween house, like haunted house house murders, Mm -hmm. which I I do think, yeah, we'll save that for Halloween time Um, because it's also. And that image can also do this like kind of almost camp one, the one by Wes Craven, the people under the stairs. We should do that as well. Let's do it. Okay. That'd be cool. Click save. We're saying this to remind ourselves later. Um, Lots to look forward to. It is halfway to Halloween. We've got six months left now. So that's crazy. I know so this is by. Halloween in April. It doesn't have quite the same vibe, but April, <laughs> April, uh, uh, April doesn't sound as good as Christmas in July. But oh really? <laughs> um, oh well. But yeah, so you can start getting in the spooky mood now. Mm-hmm. Um, but and how many boos would you give this, Miss Caitlin? I think 
I would probably, I, I was inclined in my head to give it a 3.5, but then now like talking about it. I know. And then you're you saying four. I was like, you and know what? And even me going back right. today and looking at it, I was four. like, oh, you know, this is pretty good. Like, it, you know. This is a film that legitimately the first time I watch it, it creeped me out. And, and it's paced. It's, when I watched it, it today, creeped me out. It's paced well. Mm-hmm. It goes by just fast. It does. It's very easy it's to watch. Only an hour and 30 minutes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Only an hour and 30 minutes. And then it. It's just a bunch of well timed events. Yeah. That it there's no no too big of a lull at any point. And yeah, it is that clown face, that mm-hmm. was something that like stuck with me. I was like, I can't remember what movie that is, but it creeped me the fuck out. There's also another Halloween movie that I can't remember what that one's called. A haunted house one. Mm-hmm. Halloween movie. A haunted house movie that um also yeah. creeped me out, but I, I I'll have to figure out which one that was. Um Anyways, yeah, I think I'm going to give this a 4-2 because it it really actually legitimately did mm-hmm. scare me. And that is hard to come by. Yeah. Now, there's not a lot of movies that I feel nervous actually turning on in my home. Mm-hmm. Because I do Same. watch these at home alone in my house filled with dolls and clowns. That's so a pretty good size house, too. Yeah. Lots of areas for things to be looking scary and lots like of down your hallway if you're just in exactly, your living yes. room or like up the stairs kind of coming down i am Ooh, always creepy. slightly worried something could come down those stairs Ooh. and then i hear like creaks upstairs all the time and like bumps like mm-hmm. things like falling mm-hmm. or just the doors will the, randomly the open floors because they're yeah. wood right mm-hmm. yeah they squid they, they yeah they do that yeah if i don't they have, breathe yeah so it's just very the house does breathe like it's mm-hmm. got a lot of little groans and so sometimes when i'm sitting there watching these movies alone i'm like oh fuck that's creepy. i'm a little scared and this one was one that i was like yeah i'm gonna make a conscious choice to not watch this at nighttime and then i'm also gonna pause it occasionally and go get some toast <laughs> when i yeah. need a little break <laughs> and come Aww. back yeah go so, back to the kitchen light yeah exactly it because i'm still watching it in the dark mm-hmm. even though because i was like i feel like a little bitch if i turn a light on that's a scary movie you gotta have the darkness yeah but exactly. adds to the ambiance because then a lot of the times horror films are so like dimly lit in their mm-hmm. shots that that's if true. the lights are on you can't see what's happening that's very true you need when i'm watching horror movies off. i have to like turn up the vo- the brightness on the tv because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. otherwise it's way too dark mm-hmm. um but yeah so there you have it a solid four Starlet four for the solid hell house lc you guys LLC. Yeah, we made it 2015. through. 2015. No tornado. Right. No tornado. Yay. Um, and so, th- th- extra shout out to Rogue Media Network mm-hmm. for keeping us safe. For sure. Tornado free. Literally in this little brick studio. Mm-hmm. Or whatever whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Oh. It's, not, it's not even brick. It's like sheet rock. Plaster. It's <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Um, but, but yeah, we're here in the lovely Rogue Media Network studios mm-hmm. where you can get all of your lovely Debbie podcasts. Uh, you can listen to us, all us. of them, mm-hmm. on a Portugal's. slew of, <laughs> of podcast host servers. Mm-hmm. And the two biggest ones being? Oh, that would be... Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And Spotify Podcasts. Spotify. 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 But you can also listen to us and all the other podcasts on RogueMediaNetwork.com. That's right. And then if you are listening, don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and like, and share. And yep. Word all of, of mouth, those. all of those things yes. are the only way we can ever Please. get ahead. If you want T-shirts like we talked about, Please we need you tell to tell I mean, those people. Cost money we're just going to make them to make them. I mean, we'll still make yeah, them. Yeah, we're not still. like made of money. But and like, in the past, I have mm-hmm. like fronted big projects like that before and then didn't no get the return. return. Mm. And so it's like I've been burned one too yeah. many times. Uh, yeah, we'll just be cautious and smart about it. But yeah, yeah if y'all really want it, just let us know. We'll try to come up with some ideas. Maybe we'll put it on the... The thing our Robert, one social our social segue to that. yeah our one social media um, which is at instagram.com at <laughs> <dot com. laughs> I mean if you're online it is this is chaotic I'm so sorry <laughs> I don't know I think <laughs> I always bring this energy to the closing part I'm so sorry I um, love it it's on Instagram and that is I'll let you do it <gasps> at boobase podcast and that is b-o-o b-a-e-s mm-hmm. because we word. are your boo bays not your boo babes yep yeah fuck and that uh, second b yeah until, b. until next time you guys <laughs> good spookins going on keep good it haunty spookins. keep it friday and uh, keep it sexy friday. i think also stay tuned if you have shuttered next this yes. is our next four episodes are all going to be shutter shutter originals shutter originals or ones that are exclusively on shutter, shutter. 
now that we have a little bit more mm-hmm. of a set schedule that we've been doing, mm-hmm. I think it would be cool yeah, to let people know the week before. Because at the beginning, we were kind of hesitant to do it because we, we don't know when these minds. are going to fall. Yeah. Sometimes. And now, now we've kind of got a good set schedule going. Mm-hmm. So I think be prepared next week. Next for the next four episodes, it's going to be shutter, shutter content, mm-hmm. and then we'll let you know what they are so that way you can maybe prepare by watching it and then listen to the episode with us yeah. when it drops you can watch it monday night you can watch it tuesday morning when i do or the All morning the of whenever time. we record i love the energy um but yeah so until then bye bays. Bye bays. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.